right, welcome to another episode of Sassy Sales Ops. I'm Hillary Kay, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the power of one. I remember one of my first dream forces uh, when me and my boss found out about this. We were freaking out um, because it has been so valuable and it's normally one of the first things that I ever create um, when I you know, when I've joined a, a, a new company or when I'm setting things up, it's super valuable. So what is it? Uh, if you haven't heard of the power of one, um, it's the way to count or in a, a report, it's the way to roll up a unique count. Um, for example, I'm on contacts and accounts. That's always gonna, you know, count the total of contacts that are in each account. But if I ever want to know, well, how many unique accounts do I have? Salesforce doesn't have the ability to do that by default. So the way you do that is by creating a formula field with one. That's it, it's super freaking simple and that is it. So essentially how to do this and how to start this off and sometimes when you're talking about the power of one, sometimes it's easier to see it. Me, I'm very visual learner. I have to do it by, you know, learn by doing it. So let's just go through uh, that whole process and how to create a power of one. And we're using that um, on the account example for like account contacts and uh, accounts report. But you can use this um, with any, any object that is in Salesforce. So again, if this video helps you, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to Sassy Sales Ops. I am going to open up the test account. I think I had the most fun creating the, uh, the titles for these contacts in this account. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go over to the object so I can get a hold of the fields so I can create this formula field. So once you get over here, you just click new. I'm gonna create a new formula field. And I usually build one of these for each object, so I don't, you know, have to do this in the future when I'm looking for it, it's just always created for me. So what I usually name this is just unique and then whatever the, um, you know, whatever the object is. So I'm gonna type this unique accounts for this specific one, and I am going to make it a number. There's gonna be no decimal places, because it's either, it should just be one and done. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to put a one and that's it. Um, you know, you can check the syntax. Obviously there's no syntax errors. It's not really anything, but this is the power of one, right? This is probably one of the most simple formulas you're ever gonna create and it's super powerful. So again, I'm gonna go through and hit next visible. Uh, I mean, I'm in my dev sandbox, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I can see it, we are good to go. Sure, I'll go ahead and throw this on all the layouts and I'm done. So I am done um, creating my unique accounts. That little field there. So again, I will just refresh this screen that my report is in and I'm gonna show you how this works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our new field, unique accounts. And then we'll go ahead and group by this field. Oops, not that one. Let's go ahead and get the right one here. The account name, we'll go ahead and group by that. And once I hit run on this report, I have three total records because right here we're looking for contacts in the accounts. But for unique, uh, Salesforce will only count one unique account name. So you get a roll up of accounts. If I had a longer report here um, of, of all contacts in the accounts, still uh, it would only count one for each unique account, which is awesome, right? You're always gonna want to um, you know, know unique accounts or unique contacts if you are um, you know, pulling activity reports and want to understand the unique touches or the unique contacts, the amount of people that your sales team is reaching out to on a monthly basis. This is super helpful and that is how you create the power of one, the formula field on any of your unique objects. That's it. Formula field, number, no decimal places, and one, and you'll be able to roll up the unique objects in each account. 
Again, if this was super helpful for you, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Sassy Sales Ops, and I'll see you on the next episode.